Hi, this is Phil and Trish from SkiTalk.com, and we are going to talk about the all-new 2023-24 Head Total Joy. Yep, and I was in on the ground floor talking to Julie Cooperthwaite uh, about the Joy line when it came out nine years ago, and when I was reminded recently that it was nine years ago, I was like, that ages me <laughs> a little bit. But I'll tell you, they came out with that line, and uh, many of you already know this story, but I'll repeat it again. When the Total Joy, when the Head Joy line came out, I was pretty excited about it. And it was one of the few skis that I was willing to put my money down and buy at the moment, which was the Super Joy, which is a big sister to the Total Joy. The Total Joy is, in my opinion, or in my estimation, probably one of the more popular skis in the Joy lineup because it fits a great sweet spot at 85 millimeters underfoot. It still carves pretty darn well over the 14 meter radius, 14, 15 meter radius. And yet it's just wide enough. It gives you that level of stability. And it's also like not really the beginner ski, but it's not so, so strong that you have to feel like you have to be on top of it all day long, which I think is a really nice attribute of this particular segment of skis. Um, so with the, with the all new construction this year, that's where I want to get back to the meat and potatoes of, of what they've done. The thing that they've prided themselves on with head is that the, the uh, graphene construction, the lightweight construction was light done right. And yet when the tip was engaged on some of these skis, it would get a little bit chattery if that person wasn't really able to get on top of it and stay powerful through the turn. So they've done a lot this year. They still have stayed with the light tech construction. Um, they also have what they call energy management circuit, EMS or EMC. And the energy management circuit is, um, it is a, a technology they built in so that you could get that smoothness and that dampness without having to add metal to it because they wanted to still keep that light construction with a Karuba wood core and all the things that they had prided themselves on in the past with this amazing lineup. So I, I commend them on that. But the other thing that they did with the Total Joy or all the joys in the Joy line this year is they changed the tip profile. So the tip is a little bit narrower. So if you are that person that wants to get on top of it and power through the turn, you can absolutely do that. However, it also has given a little bit more forgiveness. So if somebody is a little bit more timid and they don't really stay on top of their ski all day long in every turn, they're able to kind of smear it and butter that, that turn shape a little bit, which is really nice. It's made it very accessible for those who maybe were a little bit nervous about the previous construction. One of the things that I've always noticed about what Head has done with this Joy collection, it is, I think, one of the only collections in the industry that is a women-specific collection. Most of the other collections out there share some shape and molds with their men or unisex counterpart. But Head has stayed with this commitment to this series that it is a women-specific collection very much so and and there there are other brands out there that have some women specific designs and some women specific attributes um, but one of the things that i noted right away is that the technology that was introduced in the joy nine line nine years ago they introduced it first with building this women specific lineup and some of that technology has then been shared over into the unisex line. Graphene being one of them. Graphene being one of them. And also getting into um, the energy management circuit and that type of thing. I'm, I'm really pleased with how they have they've have just really expanded on this women's line. This is, I think, the third iteration of how they've built this ski. Yep. And I am really impressed. When I got a chance to get out on it, I, I thought it was act, actually quite a bit damper and smoother without adding a lot of extra weight. And um, I, I really commend Head for doing that. It's been a really fun ski to get out on for me because I've, I've liked this line from the beginning, but it seems like every time you go, oh man, I don't know how they can improve on it they figure out a way to improve upon it. So 
I'm, I'm really impressed with that. But like I said, the narrower um, tip has made it more accessible. It's made it less chattery in the tip for those who found that chatter. And I know a lot of people didn't find the chatter because they were those powerful skiers and right. could stay on top of it. But if you're, if you want to relax a little bit, you know, this gives you that ability to do that. And I'm, yeah. I'm really appreciative, but it still allows you to power through and get on top of it and do what you want to do. So it doesn't dumb the ski down. It just makes it more accessible. And I, I think they did a good job with that. I mean, the previous generation had a shape on it. Like you said, it was very dramatic in tip. And also it had dram dramatic flare tail mm -hmm. that that ski really had one turn built into it mm -hmm. where this new shape, I think really lends to a little more versatility Absolutely. in that. For sure. And I, th I think they did a really good job of that. Now segueing a little bit into what they did with their bindings and their systems. So a year ago, we, uh, we actually were one of the first people to announce the protector binding with head Tyrolia and we're so excited about it. We know that this is a great segment in the market that has, needed to be addressed over the years but what they did is they took that technology for the protector series binding and they created a lighter weight version and the slr and it's the full heel release so you've got your seven millimeters of elasticity and it gives you that confidence that if you get into that turn you have that elasticity so that it will uh, protect your ACL. Mm -hmm. And as Head says, or Tyrolia says, they have um, decreased the impact on your AC, ACL by 50%. Right. And um, it's, I'm really tickled pink that they're expanding on that lineup as well and bringing it into the women's skis. So if you go out and you want to buy the Head Total Joy, don't just ask for the Head Total Joy. Ask the dealer if they've got it with a protector. SLR well, that's what comes standard on it now, where yeah. in the past it has been an option in the collection, right. but now they do have it standard in this. And what I like what they've done with this is with that protector, and people think, oh, with that protector, it's it's focused is on safety. But again, you mentioned that elasticity in, in the binding, which has seven millimeters both on the medial, on the inside and the outside, the medial and lateral side. With that binding, is a lot of absorption in it, kind of like we have elasticity in the toe and what that does that allows the ski to stay quieter on the snow and then of course it does have the ability of releasing laterally in that rearward twisting fall both uh, bi-directionally and, and I felt it was a little bit uh, for lack of a better term a little bit like a shock shock absorber yeah. it, yep. it absorbs some of the impact on those on those uh turns and it, it just made it feel smooth and really reliable. Yeah. And the other thing I do like with the SLR platform that they use on it and Head takes Head Tyrolia takes this extra step mm -hmm. on it where a lot of brands will that offer system bindings, they have basically one system mm -hmm. and they use it across their board, whether it is for a, a four foot 10 inch woman or a six foot five inch guy and that one plate is designed to work anywhere from a 260 millimeter shell up to a 360 millimeter shell and what can happen is that can create a tremendous dead spot in the ski with the slr we actually have a more compact track system on it so it is designed specifically to work well with a smaller ski for a smaller lighter person well and if you look this has got it on there yep. and you don't have a plate that goes all the way through that we do on so, this version so the nice thing with the women's skis and again we talk about the shorter boot sole yep. length when you have the shorter boot sole length you're able to flex that ski where sometimes that plate would make a little block in the middle of the ski right. and we don't have that with this binding. And again, even for the largest woman, this plate only goes up to 338 millimeters where most of the men's plate, if we took this one off, would be 360 millimeters mm -hmm. again, which creates a bigger dead spot, right. which allows these skis to be better scaled towards women. Absolutely. And I, and I found that I, I, I ski in a 23.5 right. and I have a friend recently just bought boots. It's in a 21.5. Yeah. I would have no problem 
recommending this ski in her lengths for her mm -hmm. and knowing that she'd be able to flex the ski. Right. And that's not always the case with assistance. No, no. And again, size ranges on this ski, you've got a pretty large range anywhere from 148 up to 168. Mm -hmm. We've got a reference size here, which is the 163, which has dimensions on it, 128, 85, 114. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned if, uh, between 14 and 15, they measured at 14.7 meters in, in that 163. <laughs> and of course, head also does scale the sizing of this ski. So as we get down into the smaller sizes, we might see that waist width and a tip and tail width mm -hmm. drop a couple of millimeters a couple of millimeters so those smaller skiers right. get the same experience that you do right. in this reference size mm -hmm. a lot of manufacturers don't do that with their skis right and you know if i get on a free ride ski i'm likely to be out there on something 170 172 right. on this particular ski with the head total joy i'm really happy skiing on a 163. yep now i think they did a really good job with this collection and i think this is the next step in it that first series was really good mm -hmm. It set the standards mm -hmm. for women's specific skis. Now, this one here, this new collection, with I believe it's a total of uh, six or seven skis in a collection, but the Total Joy is, is arguably the most versatile out of that collection. I, I would say you're absolutely. The Total Joy is the one that I would say targets a majority of the female audience if you're looking for a front side ski that right. has a little bit of versatility. Right. Now, I think they did a good job with it. I think it's a fun ski because... Skiing, skiing is fun. fun. To read the full review of the ski, please go to skitalk.com and click on the review tab. Please also hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more reviews and other ski related content and add thoughts in the comment section below. Of course, follow skitalk.com on all of our social media channels. No scenes from Hot Dog the Movie were reenacted during the production of this video.